First video looked good to me. Backwater station. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. Hey, what's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep them away from those critters. They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn. Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now and do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. This is the second mission. Of course, not counting the tutorial where we received a uh, equipment demonstration. And we are already being encouraged to disobey direct orders from superior officers by Marshal Jim Rayner. Independent motherfucker. So, here we go. In eradicate the alien infestation, Rainer must survive. He's a hero. See you boys. Time to kick some serious and he's kind of in StarCraft 2, so it's a big deal. Also, I'm being horribly inefficient already. My APM is so down. That ah, shit happens. Let's go ahead and get some SCVs out. You go ahead and move out here. Go protect go, go. these guys. Commander. We'll, we'll get access to greater and greater things in this episode, thankfully. First off, we'll play with Jim Rayner. Go ahead, Commander. Rainer here. Anytime you're ready. Hey, quit it. SCB good to go, sir. What's your problem, man? Look, Commander, do you mind? I knew I should have stayed in bed this morning. Here. All right, that was fun, wasn't it, everyone? Good talk. Well, we have how many do we have? Five. We can use five more. Sure, why not? I like to have uh, two, two and a half SCVs per cluster here. More depending on the relevant circumstances. There's our Vespane guys are right there. It's so goddamn far away, though. It's unfortunate. SCB, good to go, sir. Go ahead and attach you there. Now, you can't rally point onto these clusters and they automatically work it. Like, a uh, further, or rather, future Blizzard tile titles. You can, however, set rally points, and they will automatically go, shift sir. themselves around to find clusters that are not currently being worked. But, uh, ratio of 10, uh, two on each cluster, will definitely take care of this quick. Especially given the conditions of these two right there. It'll actually end up being overkill. So much so that, uh... Well, what the hell, I'm already committed to doing it. Get some map information. Although I actually know how the map ends up going. Now these bastards end up retreating from you to, like, save your bacon whenever you're getting too far away from shit. We're gonna start training some guys. Now, it's okay if Jim Rayner ends up being the tank, because he's so goddamn tough. True story. What the hell is that? Looks like the ground there is alive. This will be a common theme when you see Zerg buildings. They thrive and grow uh, on the creep, which is some sort of um organic system of arteries and veins that uh, basically feed and supplies their buildings. Oh yeah. Also, we have a Terran bunker that we've taken control of. Thanks for the rescue. We've been holed up in these bunkers for days hiding from the Zerg. Sure. This should be Not a problem. Have been out here a while, but they could be pretty useful. I know, man. We have an academy, which we couldn't build on our own this mission. This the barracks and the command center allows us to take control of everything. Absolutely need a light, good sir. Glad to have you aboard. That is a firebat who deals concussive damage and splash. He is the anti-small infantry specialist of the Terran forces. True story. Now, I'm going to go ahead and relocate my barracks here. Although it's not really necessary. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do so. Put it right up there. Have my unit producing structures close together. I'm gonna go ahead and build another command center. That's gonna cost a lot of money so that we can quickly start getting gas to uh, supply our units. But honestly, we don't really need a whole lot of forces. For the purposes of giggles, though, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some fire bad shit for you. Wanna turn up the heat? Yes. You got my attention. You wanna see some heat, boy? That's what I thought. I love the smell of napalm. Nothing like a good smoke. Are you trying to get invited to my next barbecue? You want to these questions boy. about propane? Or propane accessories? <laughs> want to turn up the heat? So you can see they're slightly tougher than the Marine is. Yes. Now it's worth a fun fact. Uh, the Marines and Firebats are actually... Um, Hardened criminals who have been uh, rehabilitated to uh, serve. Uh, they are convicts of the Confederacy who have uh, been applied to doing more useful things with their life. Useful things such as, oh, acting as foot soldiers, basically. You guys need to relocate you, not you. Something like that. That'll be good. Again, not exactly that it fucking matters overly much, but it's being done, so there you go. Ah, uh, you go ahead and... not you. God damn it, I selected one working out again. Here we go. You all go ahead and get prepared to give me some gas. Now, this here is a commsat station. It's an attachment that you can first build whenever you get the academy, which is this. Which can provide some training. The first thing you can get uh, is Stimpak technology, which is uh, very useful. And it particularly fits in with the whole theme and ideology of the fact that these guys are hardened criminals and no one gives a fuck about them. Now, these here are defensive structures known as bunkers. Uh, Terran infantry can hide in these things and shoot at opponents as they approach. Very useful, that. I'll show you. Let's go ahead and lure Batty. Now, I'm gonna have to reorganize myself a bit better. So this is the commsat station. It's a detector, which means that it can detect hidden, uh, invisible cloaked units, basically. And it can also scan at the cost of 50 energy. You can see it slowly accumulating up to a maximum. We can see this creep colony, which is a structure that is expressly designed to generate this and creep, and can also be turned into a defensive thing. Let's go ahead and see if we can lure some of these zerglings to play. You guys wanna play? Party time? Nope. Whee! Come along now. There we go. You can see the fire bat there in action with those jets of flame. You will definitely see more of that. Engineering Bay, responsible for weapon and armor upgrades for the infantry. It also allow unlocks the ability to build a missile turrets, although we cannot do that yet in this mission. Alright, everything's been explained satisfactorily, I think. Let's go ahead and, uh... Just assigned a bunch of things here. Fire and uh, let's go ahead and attack with Jim. He's number one. Yes. We don't need a whole lot of units. As you can see, they make short work of those Zerglings who are such small units. Short, short work. We absolutely eviscerate that colony. Those are Hydralisk. That is the second unit that the Zerg can build. Well, like second in terms of like power. Hydralis deal explosive damage. They are a ranged unit. So as you can see, not exactly very effective against uh, Marines. But they're a thing. Have I not researched impacts yet? I have not. I wanted to demonstrate that before we went ahead. Just for the giggles. Just to say that I did. Okay, guys, go away. Although I might have run out of units to kill. It's a thing. Yes. Sometimes shit happens, and mistakes get made. It's alright. No, that's not alright, though. What are you doing, you fools? Are there any units down here I can pick on? There's some there. Alright, good. Now, Stimpak, it shaves 10 health off. It costs 10 health to do. But for a short amount of time, the cooldown, basically, of the Marine or Firebat's attack is halved. By the way, these Zerglings are in cover. There's actually a cover mechanism in StarCraft. 
they have a chance of avoiding any damage from a ranged attack, courtesy of being behind trees. True story. All right, it's done. So we'll actually go ahead and send the fire bats here. Now, when Brood War comes, well, whenever Brood War comes to play, there's the fact that with the power of medics, all the damage that's dealt here can be healed. But in the regional Starcraft, once you commit to doing that whole stim pack thing, you can't heal that shit back. Thankfully, these guys are pretty cheap. We'll just let these hardened uh, convicts and criminals get to it. We don't need to do so much shit. Let's come up here. What the hell do they do to that command center? That is an infested command center. Burn it, boys. Indeed not, Jim Rainer. Indeed no. not. Let's go ahead and juice up here. Oh yeah, it's a stuff. Good shit. Whatever that damn structure is, it's toast. Goodbye. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshal Rainer. By destroying the vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standing colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time in getting here. Now, I asked you nice the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. So there we go. That's what Jim Rayner's done for us, everyone. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. Ah, it turned out quite well, things considered. We only lost six units. Could have been worse. But that is the Garden Brood. The Orange. Fantastic. We did tons of shit. And, of course, the AI did fuck nothing, because they're trying to introduce you to this game. This crazy thing known as StarCraft. Next up, we have a cutscene! Perimeter Patrol, Confederate Border Colony, Marsara. In the desert of Marsara, where lizards and cacti grow, hillbilly music began playing. As a dune buggy has sailed the sands. Hey Sarge, why we always gotta listen to this shit for anyway? Cause I'm in charge, that's why. Oh, it don't seem like no good kind of reason on age. Hey, what's that? Hold on a minute, second. Safest place is the vehicle. Let's get out. Looks like you mashed some poor feather's dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. But he can be out this far unless. Oh, shit. Those are Hydralisks. I love you, Sarge. Good talk, everyone. It's no wonder the Terrans are getting, uh, mopped up. So easily desperate alliance! Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Colony. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now. Yeah. Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mengsk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You're familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group. 
but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw, too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. So the objective here is to survive for 30 minutes. Now, before I press start, a little interesting aside here, Arturus Minsk has a lot of background history, as do all of the main characters uh, uh, coming with him. Uh, but Minsk gets discussed quite a bit in the StarCraft manual. He's part of an extremist faction known as, known as the Sons of Korhal. Korhal's had a lot of interesting things happen to it over the course of his life, and Arturus Minsk has had some interesting things happen to his family over the course of his life. There are reasons, but, uh, don't forget that, uh, oh, how does the saying go? You know, whenever, uh, one extreme provides, you know, information A, and the other extreme provides data B, the truth can tend to be found up in point C between the two. Or something like that. You all get the gist of what I'm saying if you're familiar with uh, English parables. Alright, let's survive! Not gonna lie, the first time I played this mission as a kid, it kicked my ass. Yeah, yeah. So, that's the fucking asshole known as the Vulture. He's got a lot of character and charm, as does everyone in this game. Yes, character in charm. That's exactly what I'd go with. So, here we are. On mission 3. With the Vulture! This is the first mission we'll be able to actually build these bastards. So how about that? It's a thing that's gonna transpire. Now, survival mission. Like I said, first time I played this as a kid, I got my ass handed to me, which is unfortunate considering, you know, once I actually figured out how to fucking play the game, I was able to handle shit. So... Basically, evacuation's gonna come here. We have to stay alive. Can we stay alive? God, I hope so. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel goddamn stupid. Now, there's a lot of Zerg out there we can go kill. We might end up doing that. Story. Yes, yes. We're not gonna do anything with these vultures just yet, though. We're gonna cluster these marines nice and tight together. I don't want him to get all far away from me and shit. Good, 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 good. Actually, no. I want you to go back there and build a supply depot so I can continue to crank out SCVs. We shouldn't have to worry about anything right here at the beginning. Things will get tighter as we approach uh, closer to the deadline. Unless I actually leave this little fortified position and take out these bastards. By the way, these elevated areas, there is an advantage with higher ground too. Uh, targets that are shooting up onto higher ground don't have a perfect 100% chance to hit their target, which is not bad. Actually, let's go ahead and have you build another supply depot for us. Although that's gonna have, have time spent where I don't have an SCV out. Unfortunately, you can't build shit up there, which means that it's vulnerable to attack, which is goddamn unfortunate. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And, of course, you know, our our SCV resource line is right there. We have some Zerglings coming to attack. This guy actually got hit, which is unfortunate. The shit happens. We need to actually lift up and go land there instead. Continuing to get out miners and basically guys to supply me with resources. I haven't been keeping good track of exactly how many I have. True story. Let's go ahead and get that out. There we go. Actually, no. Cancel one of those. Build a marine. Yeah, I tend to like marines more than I like fire bats. It's a thing. Get some Vespane gas. You'll see that 
Uh, things beyond your basics just simply require Vespain gas. True story. Go, right. go ahead and have these guys ready. You can only have one guy in the refinery at a time. They all wait outside, kind of like a Warcraft 2 gold mines in action. I'm going to want two. I tend to have four uh, around at a time. I tend to uh, make things optimal so long as the command center is relatively close by. U238 shells will increase the Marines' attack range. Now, I would like to be all nice and chatty with you fuckers, but I got a mission to run here. That'll be fine. Hydralisk. Like I said, ranged unit. Deals explosive damage. Vultures deal concussive damage. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat him. Alright, you are my builder. What I want you to do is I'm actually gonna have another builder over here. We need marines over there for the purposes of defense. Jacked up and good to go. What are you on? Who's damaged? You can also have multiple SCVs repairing a target at once. It's very nice. It makes the resources go down quicker, but it also gets the job done quicker. And that's what you ultimately care about, a job. Get some bunkers done so that we can uh, fortify some troops here. Missile turrets are detectors. Uh, similar with the ComSat station, they detect hidden, visible, cloaked units. You're eight. You're nine. You're zero. Jacked up and good to go. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, stick four Marines up here, just in case. I could actually have them hold position if I felt that fucking crazy. So, let's go exploring. Zerg creep. Fantastic. Hold position means that the, the folks don't move, but they're also a bit slower on their reflexes. That's not exactly a desirable thing to have. Where are you at? There you are. Outstanding. Let's move. The bunkers also end up slightly increasing the range of uh, the ranged units placed in them. It's a very nice thing. It is, it is, it is. Let's go ahead and get some weaponry upgrades to go in there. I want you to go ahead and get on this side. Build a factory, which is an advanced structure, as you can see. We can also build missile turrets as well. I'm going to go ahead and slap down one, actually. That's a good idea. Uh, near the supply lines, just so I don't get fucked. This bunker is also empty. Ah, good call. Okay. Temporary builder, go ahead and head on out, build that supply depot for me. Blocks, Kalol, THX, buy. That's the official terminology, by the way. Alright, let's get that factory out. Factory will allow us, allow us to build more vultures. Not inherently a bad thing. Let's go ahead and get the stim pack stuff. U U U U U238 shells give us even more range with our marines. Which is a beautiful thing, because we're actually going to start seeing flyers on our first time seeing Zerg flyers on this map as well. This ping geyser is depleted. It's going to make, well, getting things that cost gas difficult. Not impossible, just difficult. Shit happens. Sort of like uh, fire bats, but you will get trace amounts of gas at a time. You can see, two at a time. It's happening, as I speak. I think I'm trapping my units in here a bit. That is a thing that's transpiring. Vultures! Machine shop. It's an add-on. Sort of like what's here with the command center. Normally you can just build vultures, but the machine shop allows you to make some upgrades. Not a bad thing. Let's go ahead and build a bunch of supply depots. Go ahead and get that other missile turret up as well. And I'll leave you back here as a guard. Oh, that's a flyer. And as you can see, that mutalist there um, deals splash damage to targets. And uh, he, he did a nice amount of chunk to damage. Then again, mutalists cost 100 ore, 100 gas, and 2 supply. So I don't think my guys ended up doing that bad, huh? What do you think? Machine shop, ion thrusters for faster vulture movement, spider mines, which you saw me demo with Jim Rayner. We don't actually need any of this shit. Doesn't mean I'm not going to grab it, we just don't fucking need any of it. 
Now let's go ahead and uh, get some more supply depots out in the boot. Start scanning a bit more to give you all an idea. These Zerg units are burrowed, meaning that they are hidden. They cannot attack, but uh, normally you would not be able to see them unless you had a detector. Terran Infantry Weapon Upgrade. Upgrades our units so they can deal more damage. Armor Upgrade. Uh, max, this shit ends up going out to three, but of course, uh, we're sort of at the beginning of the game, so we're not going to have that. I'm going to go ahead and just start training a bunch of Marines. Unfortunately, you can only queue up five of these shit. Five... Five blah 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 at a time. But I gotta make a dent in those Zerg, and I will through massive quantities of Marines, and perhaps a few fire bats as well. For the Kings. I have rally points set so that they quickly funnel out, and you can see that uh, a significant portion of time has passed already. Is that a bad thing? No. You want a piece of me, boy? The vulture is kind of stuck in here. Oh, no, he's not. He Wow, sweet, I thought he was stuck. It shows what the fuck I know, right? Go ahead and place these mines. Hello! How you doing? How are the kids? LOL. That's right, I said it. LOL. Oh, you did a good job. Now, can you get out of here? You sure can. I left just enough room. Guys, I'm pro at this game. So pro. Again, keep in mind, spider mines can hurt you or your allies if you're playing on multiplayer. Very dangerous. Uh, let's go ahead and place another missile turret back here. I do want a piece of you. That's right, we're staying out here. We're pro. We'll do it. We don't give a shit. We don't give a fuck. No, 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 you're doing it wrong. Now, if you want to be super awesome, you can build bunkers further on out here. That'd be crazy. Oh, goodness. Nope, here we go again. Those spider mines can be destroyed. As you can see, they only have 20 hit points, but they have a good amount of jump going with them. I'm not going to be able to polish off all these guys in time. Doesn't mean I can't try, though. Let's actually go across the bridge. You train fire bats. I'm actually broke. I can't train enough fire bats. Oh, shit happens. Sometimes you run out of money. That's why want to support your supply lines. They're kind of a big deal. You can do it, Marine! You can do it! I have faith in you. Others like you made it out, so can you. It's not gonna be easy. I'm okay with that. What do we have here? A bunch of scan units, no match. I'm not exactly being super efficient here. I don't care so much about losses. What I do care about is that we're gonna take it back. Take it back. I said it. Take it back. All right, bring it on. Upgrade complete. We're not gonna let those bastards show us who's boss. Oh no, sir. No, sir. Let's move. We're gonna take it back. Next up is a sunken colony. That is a creep colony that has been upgraded into a ground defense. It's true. It happens. Alright. They are. Son of a bitch. You can see a lot of units are moving down and around. A lot of units are moving down and around. Ah, shit. Mutalisks. Nope. Nope. Just go. Just run. No, don't panic like that. There we go. There we go. Now, unfortunately, these goddamn things move so fast. By the way, that's an Overlord. It's a detector unit for the Zerg. It's also what they use to supply themselves, like the supply depots, folks. I'm not even kidding. Not even joking. 
I'm gonna keep those Marines back as defenses just in case. Attack of mine just doesn't work out the way I'd want it to. And unfortunately, every now and then you feel like you have to babysit your units. This, this game is great at managing things. It's a little bit dated for its time. That's true. Also, that that match wasn't going to work out there, that's for sure. That's a Spire. It's an advanced uh, Zerg structure which governs the creation of uh, air units. Unfortunately, my units are so separated and I'm not properly microing things. Your forces are under attack. Let's go ahead and be risky here. I feel like living on the edge. I didn't even have that bunker loaded. Well, let's go for it. That's a hatchery. It governs the construction of, um, of basically everything. It's like a Terran command center. As you can see, larvae outside get turned into eggs, which are very powerful. Um, they sort of handle, um, well, everything that the Zerg colony needs. That's what, that's, what, that's what their role is. I have units scattered all about here. I'm okay with it. As you can see, the Zerg eggs are extremely tough. Fucking suck it, Colin Egg. Spawning pool handles the creation and upgrade of Zerglings. You're familiar with those. Sort of. There's the Mutalist with the Flyer there that deals a little bit of splash damage, but we've crushed him. As you can see, we're, we're not doing that bad, all things considered. We need to evacuate? Nonsense. All you need to do is mine. What's here? Good. That's a Hydralist Den. Act. It governs the construction. Well, not the construction, it just allows you to start building them. The construction and upgrading of hydralisks. Yes. Naturally. Give me something to shoot. Standing by. So yeah, normally things would be a lot more dangerous, the attacks would be a lot more devastating, as units just spawn in out of nowhere. Uh, basically from the structures themselves. But you can shut down the attacks by going to destroy the structures. Like what we had done, basically. But yeah, the UI, the management, great in this game. No problems with it at all, it does great work. And, uh... We've, uh... We've polished off things. Of course the Firebats can't attack air. I, uh, there might be some remnant structures around, but... I think we've, uh... We're clear for an evacuation. LZ is gonna be protected for sure. That's sort of how I wanted it to go. Fantastic work. More casualties were had than I liked. I'd have liked to have seen fewer casualties, but basically I just wanted to hurry through this. And now I can just relax with all of you. Isn't that nice? I have to have a vulture alive somewhere. There we go. What are you on? Yeah? What are you on? Something on your mind? Something you wanted? I don't have time to f around. You keep pushing me, boy, and I'll scrap you along with the aliens. What are you on? There you go. There's the Terran Vulture, five everyone. Minutes until drop ship yep, arrival. five minutes until the dropship arrival. Like I said before, I have lost on this map before. Uh, there hasn't been a situation where I've lost on every map of this, but I've lost on a few. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and head back. Seems only fitting that, you know, we head back to site that's going to host our evac. Seems perfectly legit to me. It's not necessary. You could build a fucking expansion base out here if you wanted. Not that it, you need to, because if you come out this far, you don't need any more money. As you can see, I have a lot of unspent ore and minerals. Well, ore and gas, rather. You were playing a, uh, an actual serious business game. You'd want to keep your bank account as close to zero as possible. True story. Basically, what resources are, and this goes for any uh, any game, is untapped potential. You know, it's something that you could invest in doing something, but instead of doing something, you're just accumulating wealth. It's a waste. Sort of like how I do a whole lot of deficit research in Civilization 4, 
you guys ask why I allow myself to become so broke, and why I don't just turn the slider down, you know? It's, it's potential there. Sort of like how uh, crashing the economy. Not a bad thing, especially if you're an expert player, you know how to pick it back up. It's all that matters. Sometimes it just takes longer than others to pick up the economy. So yeah, we actually we absolutely crushed them. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece no of me, boy? No surprises there. I mean, I'm Grimoth. Ooh. Got a little bit of a breather here. I'm busy at work. We had a lot more room for training units. We're gonna build a lot more supply depots. Like I said, the unit cap is 200. And you'll notice that every unit takes a varying amount of supply. The Vulture, for example, takes two. I mentioned earlier that the Zerg Mutalist takes two. But the Marines and Fire Bats only take one. And that's just, you know, not for like food, but that's for like covering equipment and travel and all sorts of things. You know, this isn't some sort of grandiose tactical you know, army game where you have to manage the minutiae of handling supply lines and everything, you're... Well, there are supply lines here, but this whole supply depot, depot thing is abstracted. Ah, oh, goodness. So how about that? Factory can lift off too, just like the barracks and the command center can. Not every building can lift off. Can. You can also use these as uh, basically like a way to obscure micro. Folks, you know, smart folks will try to target your units, especially the dangerous ones. To, so to hide them, especially if you don't have use for buildings, if you're desperate, or if you had a lot of spare money to basically build engineering bays, which with all this various patching and shit cost 125. The prices and the balances have been changed so much since I initially started playing this game. I contemplated doing this unpatched for like an authentic feel, but I decided against it. It'd just be too weird and possibly unstable. Yeah, bit hard to micro and target individual units when you have this sort of cover. It's a thing that could happen. Sons of Korhal dropships approaching. Woo! Suddenly they teleport in. Strap yourselves in, boys. There you go. That just happened. We carry with us quite an extensive amount of ore and gas. So again, the Garm Brood, you have uh, situations where, you know, I killed a lot more than I lost. Now, keep in mind, the AI here is gimped. They're not giving you a full and effective challenge. They're not showing you their true worth. That's pretty much relegated the Brood War when they'll actually do that. They'll actually be super intelligent, and I suppose technically the end of the original campaigns. I mean, there's so many resources they just won't spend, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, it's just to get you an understanding of how the game works. The Jacob's installation will have to wait for next video, folks. This is Grimoth. I hope you all have enjoying yourselves thus far, and I'll talk to you all later. Take care.